Have you ever met an Italian person and except buongiorno or ciao, you couldn't say anything else? Hmm, quite rude. Because in today's lesson, we are going to learn how to ask how are you? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mirko and I'm your Italian tutor. So, in Italian we have three different ways how to ask. Like in English. Let's start with the first one. Come stai? To reply to this question, you can say sto, which is the verb, io sto. And then you have three possibilities. Bene. Good. Così e così. So and so. Or. Male. Male means not good, not well, bad, terrible. But you are learning Italian, so we don't use only our hands, but we use our facial expression. We use everything here to express our feeling in it. So, if I ask to you, come stai? Bene! Your face is positive. But if I ask to you, come stai? Male. You can see? Male. But then, if you want to say così e così, which is so and so, you cannot do <laughs> because you look like a freak, so you have to use your, your hands. And you can say like così e così, or you can just only do like this. Mm. Means like not good, not bad, like mm. in the middle. The second way is tutto bene. We can try to translate literally like um, are you all right? Or are you okay? Kind of. And you can reply, si? Sí. No. Yes or no. And the third way you can say, come va? Literally, how is it going? But when I ask you this question, there is a subtle difference between this one and that one. Why is that? Because when I'm asking come va, I want to ask you generically about a situation, about something that maybe happened to you, or maybe you are doing something in particular at that moment. So, for example, let's say my sister-in-law gave birth last week, and I'm going to Italy next week to visit her, and I want to see the baby. So, if I ask to her, Come va? I mean, how is it going since you had birth up to now? I mean, during this moment, since you had the, the baby, how is it going? But if I ask to her, okay, come stai? I mean, like, you, how do you feel? I'm good. I'm bad. Who knows? Or another scenario, for example, you're a student. You are studying for an exam, but you, you, you also work. So you work during the day, you go home, and you have to study. I come over to have a cup of coffee, because I'm just to have a catch-up. And I'm going to ask you, come va? I mean, like, in this moment, how is it going? Because I know that you work, you study, so tell me. And you are going to, to express your feeling. And you can say, again, bene, male. Or, I found these two expressions, they are informal, so you're not, you mustn't use it in a professional environment or with people that you don't know, because if someone would say this expression and they don't know the person, it's like, mm, wow, really? Because it's really mm, strong. You use with your family, with friends, with people that you know. Let's go deep down. Una bomba literally means a bomb. And you're thinking, hmm, but what do you mean? Because if you think a bomb explodes and create chaos, so it's quite sarcastic if I reply in this way, because you ask me, how, um, come va? Una bomba, because I have to study during the night, I have to work all day, I have to clean the house, I have to do the laundry, so can you understand how they feel? 
like this feeling like there is a butterfly by the way flying on. so it's a quite sarcastic di merda o una merda has a negative context and the translation of this one is like shit but it's like how's it going shit if you see there is no connection between english and italian okay but here basically i'm saying that it's not going very well not at all because you know i work eight hours i have to take the tube it's overcrowded i have to come home i have to cook i have to clean my dishes i have to study i have to get ready for the exam i have also to write a paper so can you it's better if we are not talking about that so this is the feeling. Okay, we don't express so much our emotions, so we say only the merda. Means these things that I mentioned like two seconds ago, that it's the merda. But remember to use only in informal situation. Let's have now a quick review. Come stai? Tutto bene. Come va? The reply to this question, bene, così, così, male, sì, no. Again, bene, male, and the slang informal situation, una bomba di merda. So, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. And now, when you meet an Italian person, Try to use this, and at least you can start to make a conversation, right? And remember, the most important thing of this video, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel because every weekend I will post videos and you can learn this amazing language and you can become fluent in Italian, you know what I mean? So, the question of the day, and please be honest, is, come stai? Please put in the comment below and tell me about your feeling, how, how, what you feel. Tell me about your emotion. But since you are a beginner level, remember that you have to make the sentence, subject, verb, and then what you want to say. So, if I say to you, come stai, you have to reply in the following way. Io sto are you okay are you bad it's not going very well tell me about it and now i have to go so you have to say goodbye by the way london it's raining today so it's not very good and if you can see in the video the light it's it's like like three in the morning and it's only 6 p.m but what can you do we had summer last week and the summer is over so for the moment I have to say bye. But remember to stay tuned because in next weekend I will make a new video and it's going to be amazing. And you cannot miss it. Right? Bye for now.